everyone, my name's Gabby Starbuck. Welcome to my channel. If you're enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button. We haven't done for a while now a home bargains haul. And I did go in there the other day and I did manage to pick up the biggest bag of home bargain stuff ever. So it would be cruel not to share it with you, wouldn't it? I've got so much stuff. To be fair, some of the stuff I pull out of here I might not be able to show you because they are Christmas presents for people. I feel like I don't want to ruin it for them. Miss Major, are you going to say hello to everybody? Because people love you. These are your fans. Come here. And say hello to your fans. Smidge wants to say hello. Say hello. Okay, so Smidge says hello everybody. He says, I hope you all enjoy Mummy's Home Bargain Haul. I know that you're gone, you aren't you? You little minx. Right. Let's have a look at the first item, shall we? I picked up this as a little present for one of my friends. I'm not going to give names just in case they watch it and hopefully by Christmas time they'll forget. This is like, um, it's a really lovely little present. Festive fig and pomegranate hand wash and cream. Obviously this is lovely for putting either in your kitchen or in your bathroom near your sink. Keep your hands nice and washed and then give them a good old moisturise afterwards. And it comes with this really nice pot dish. For the money, it's a really nice little gift, isn't it? One of the things I don't like about wrapping these though is they're going to be really awkward to wrap because they've got all this sort of stuff. So you might be best putting it in a box and then wrapping the box if it's going to be like your Christmas presents. I picked myself up some nose pore strips. I don't know if you use them yourselves or not, but I've only just started using them recently because obviously they exist for a reason. Now, I don't have any problems with the pores on my nose or anything like that, but because you can buy them, I'm thinking I better use them because obviously they're invented for a reason. And if there is anything that I'm not aware of, at least I'm sort of making sure everything is how it should be. They come in like little packs. You just tear them open and they've got... Let me just pull one out so you can have a little look. Quite slim look. Just open them like this. And this is what they look like. The last ones I had were actually like a black colour. So I didn't know when I used it, when I pulled it off, if it had done any, made any difference or anything. But these are like a clearer colour. So I'm hoping that I'd be able to tell once I've used it. So what you do is you just peel it off there. I think like you wet your nose area, you put it on and wait a little while and then rip it off like a plaster. And then you just see, you know, if it's got any like blackheads or anything like that. You can also use these on this part of your chin as well. So if you're feeling like you're suffering with blackheads here or here, then these come in handy for both. I must admit, I don't really suffer from blackheads, but at least if I use them, then I'm preventing any from becoming a problem. Get some. These are only like £1.49, so they're nice and cheap. And I think if you were to go to Superdrug, they're a lot more expensive. So go in Home Bargains and just pick yourself some up. So I've gone for some face masks. The coronavirus, people are suffering with it more and more every day. So that is why it is so, so important more than ever now to keep wearing those masks. So I've got like my disposable ones and I've also got one trusty one that I absolutely love. But I just thought, right, as it's becoming a little bit more common to keep wearing masks, I thought, why not pick these up? They've got different patterns. So, um, oh, hello, three for three pounds. They're 120 or something like that on their own, but I've got three for three pounds. And I'm going to... I'll rip them open actually because I've, I've picked up a different design for each one. So this particular one, I don't feel like the best quality but you know it's a face mask at the end of the day, what do you expect? This is like a, a nice black one with some pink and green kind of flowers on so there's n they're not amazing but they do the job. So this is quite nice in a respect where Oh, it's got blue on it as well. So you could probably wear that with any sort of outfit as well. So we're starting to wear masks now that match up with our outfits. So that's quite nice. Nice little florally one. Nice and soft as well. They are soft. Can you reuse them? They're reusable. 
provides a barrier against hands touching nose and mouth great they're reusable as well so and they're machine washable comfy and adjustable adjustable why is it adjustable i don't know how this is adjustable but never mind so yeah quite like that particular one i uh, bought this one as well which is like a um a pink leopardy print print leopardy print this is nice i like this one so i'm going to try mine i'm going to model these masks i don't even wear them the right, right way round or anything but and then so yeah this one's quite nice if you're liking face masks pink with black dots on it yeah that's quite nice so they don't look too tacky and then i've got this one and i only picked up this design because there was only like those or some plain colors and i thought yeah i'll go for this it's quite um quite a manly type looking one but it's it's like an army camouflagey type one and it looks like this so now i have three don't know if you can hear me or not that's three different masks plus my other one i have a four so i'm getting a variety of masks in fact i'm gonna have to ask tim if he'll give up one of his jewels especially for my masks the way things are going yep so there you go i've got some nice little face masks and i've also picked up a diamante one this is for my sister for her birthday not 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 like a main present or anything but this is just a little something I'm just going to wrap up for her because she said she really, really wants to invest in a diamond mask. Now, it ain't quite diamond diamond, but it looks like a diamond. So she's going to get that from me. And that was only about £1.30 anyway. So three, three pounds or one twenty on their own or something like this for about one thirty. So well done, home bargains. Are you enjoying it, Smidge? No, he's not interested. I've also picked up some false lashes from Home Bargains. If you've already been watching my hauls, you'll know that I go mainly for magnetic lashes. These cost like $1.49 and I know for a fact you can get Elure ones in like Superdrug for about a fiver. When they are this cheap, you've got to grab them. Now me and glue, we don't go, we don't work, we don't sandwich together very well. So that's why I go with the magnetics. It's a lot easier for me. I just thought I've got to keep practicing. So for this price, I'll pick some up, the Kimberly Walsh ones, and I'll give them a try. They're number 118. Can someone tell me like why they're all different numbered, these Allure ones? Why? They're not in order, are they? It's not like you would imagine that starting Allure number one would be like a very, very thin lash and then two, three, four, and as it goes up to 100, it would be the thickest lash ever, but it's really not like that. There's random numbers and random style lashes, so I find that really odd. Can you reuse these? Bolder on the outer edge to add elegance and elongate the eye. Reusable, feather light feel. Need a bit of feather light. We'll see how we go, and then if it does work all right for me, then I will upload some pictures, and I will show you how I'm getting on with my glue lashes it'd be good if i could get on well with glue lashes and i'll tell you why magnetic ones are really really expensive i usually buy my gum in this pot from primark for a pound i forgot to pick some up when i was last in there and home bargains had some for exactly the same price but the reason i like this particular one is it's teeth whitening at the same time so not only is it keeping your breath nice and fresh but it's teeth whitening so these are fab you can pop them in your bag they're just easy to cart around with you really but i know holly is waiting to bust into these 40 pieces you get in here for a pound so it's not bad at all definitely worth purchasing one of these pots if you'd have seen my halloween haul from the wilkinsons versus poundland you would see that i have a halloween bowl with sweets in it obviously that halloween bowl is getting put away but what it has made me do is want to keep a sweet bowl and keep picking i've really gotten into it and the halloween sweets have gone down and i thought i'm gonna have to replace these because i've got to keep this up i've got to keep going so i've invested for a fiver i think it was a fiver it might have been a little less i can't really remember in a big party mix 
bag. Look at that. Wow. This is so cool. Over 100 treats. We've got 100 loads of treats in it. So it consists of, um, you know, those little purpley sort of fruity pop things. Do you see them? I don't know if you can see them. I love them. They take me right back to my childhood. Some, some of those fruity pops. Um, some love hearts. Fizzers. Freshers, those double lolly things, they taste great when you bite them. Drumsticks. What else have we got? I think that's it. I think that's all it consists of. All those. But that's okay because they are my favourites. I'm absolutely loving these. Loving them. Oh my god, I can't wait to like. Oh, they've got the strawberry ones as well. These are the lollipops I'm talking about. These are the ones that take me right back. I love them absolutely i want one now no i can't spoil my dinner wait wait be patient oh and they've got these little ultraviolet things in there as well they're I'm so keen on them to be fair um what else smidge 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 look baby pink ones pink refreshers they're well good and have you tried one of them anyway some good stuff in there that great big bumper bag love it bought this for my friend for christmas for all you drinkers out there how about that for a christmas present so your gin and your tonic i hope my friend doesn't actually watch this because it's just gonna ruin it so your gin and your tonic you get a tonic you get a nice gin glass and a nice pink gin inside and it's a fantastically square so perfect to wrap and it's just a nice little gift so you're probably going to get maybe two beverages out of that if you're lucky maybe one but i think the whole point of this gift is the glass you get to keep the glass and it's a nice thick glass too it's your perfect big bold gin glass so when i saw this i just had to get this for my friend i hope she likes it if she doesn't i'm gonna be incredibly disappointed but fingers crossed that she will where do you buy your birthday cards from because usually i probably go somewhere like card factory my sister's birthday is coming up i thought i'm in home bargains i'll look at the birthday cards and i actually picked up a half decent card for only 69p which i thought was quite nice and they did have some that were about a pound or a little bit more expensive but i can honestly say i did not like any of those cards that were more expensive this was the one i liked and i think it's because it's purely got alcohol on the front i mean god what is it with me and alcohol um to a fabulous sister 69p birthday card so you can also pick up birthday cards from there hey bargains is like a really really good shop i've done a home bargains haul before as you will know if you do watch my channel and um, it's really nice to be able to do one now because it's coming into the season where they're getting the Christmas stock in and stuff like that. So there is a little bit more variety in there at the moment. But it is so reasonable for things. You can even get stuff on the high street in Home Bargains that is a lot cheaper in there than on the high street. Like your false eyelashes and your makeup bits and stuff like that. So if you're wanting to get more for your money, then I definitely recommend a trip to Home Bargains. Picked up a couple of air fresheners for my car as well. This one is one of those ones that you, uh, if you have a look at them, how can I explain it? You basically slot them into the air vent of your car. I've never tried these before. I usually just hang a normal air freshener up or, you know, I did have one that I got from was that pound shop i can't remember somewhere before might have been home bargains but it didn't really last very long i think it was home bargains a pink flower um, and it wasn't very good but i thought i'd give this a whirl because it's quite small it's not going to get in the way ram it in there so it's odor eliminating vent sticks basically fruity strawberry zesty lemon type so hopefully these are going to be quite good because we all need to keep our cars smelling nice don't we and I seem to pick this one up as well. And the reason I picked this one up is because I love Funny Feet ice cream when I was younger. And whatever happened to you don't get can you get Funny Feet ice cream anymore? I'm not sure, but I really love Funny Feet. And I saw this and thought, gotta have it. It was only about a pound. Strawberry car air freshener. No feet on the seats. I guess there's meant to be some humour behind that, but I can't quite figure out why that says that. I don't know what it smells like. If I bust it open, am I going to ruin it? 
Now I've picked up some batteries. These batteries were very, very cheap. They were some of the cheapest ones that are in. The reason I've picked these up is because with me being a singer, I have to change the batteries in my microphone for every single gig I do. Whenever I go out or if I'm doing a gig from home, whatever, every time I use that microphone, it's a fresh set of batteries every time. So I don't always use the juice in them. So if I invest in expensive Duracell batteries, I'll probably use it once and only about 2% of the battery will actually get used. So I'm spending all that money on expensive batteries for nothing really. So I tend to go for the cheaper ones. And then that way, if I use 90% of it in one go because they're just cheap and they're just not that great, it doesn't matter anyway because they're only a pound and I only use them once. So they're the perfect battery for the perfect microphone. So we've got about three more items in here at the moment. I bought a pair of socks for one of my relatives, not giving too much away. My pulling socks, this is what these say. So quite catchy, very novelty, £79. And £79? £79p. People always moan about getting socks at Christmas and stuff like that. But let's be honest, how many times do you say, oh, I've, I've lost one of my socks or I've got a hole in my sock and I need a pair of socks. If only I had another pair of socks. We always need our socks. So never moan about getting socks at Christmas because it's a useful gift and you're going to need it. But it's also great for people that are thinking of things to give to people. Because if you're thinking, oh yeah, but as a little extra, because they're not special. People don't want socks for Christmas. They bloody well do. They might not be overly excited when they open them on Christmas Day, but give it a few weeks after Christmas, they will need those socks. So just go and buy some anyway, just do it, because they won't know at the time, but later on they will realise you've done them a massive favour. So a pair of socks there, smidge. I did buy more stuff, but it's stuff that I just can't put in the hall, because if I put it in the hall, then people are going to see their gifts, and people are going to know where they come from, how much they cost and I really don't want people to know that yeah so I've had to be quite selective what I pull out of here so I'm literally just pulling out the stuff I can get away with really but the last thing I bought is some hand wash it's boring but everybody needs some hand wash so this particular one is coconut almond and vanilla hand wash for all skin types and this is it and I'm just going to take the lid off and have a good old smell of this yeah, it smells nice, does the job. Treat yourself, treat your skin. Luxurious and fragranced. I always need to um, get some hand wash. We're always running out, I use way too much of it. But I suppose in the current, in these current times, you do need to have plenty of hand wash. That's everything I bought for my home bargains haul. I'll probably do another home bargains haul a little bit nearer to Christmas because at the moment I haven't invested in any Christmas decks or anything like that because I just feel like it's a little bit too early. So please hang in there and I will do a bit more of a Christmas haul soon. Anyway, that's everything I've got. I haven't spent a lot. So hopefully you've enjoyed watching what I pulled out of my bags. And if you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up please subscribe, hit the notification button and share this with your friends. Thank you everybody for watching. I'll be back with you next week. I will see you then. Take care. Thank you. Bye.